Germany as a country in mourning. Over my shoulder, you can see how police have shut down the center of Berlin. The country has, of uh, Belgium, has declared uh, three days of mourning. And at the same time, the investigations go on. We saw overnight as more forensics uh, teams were going into the Malbec uh, metro station to try to glean more information and try to connect some of that evidence uh, with potential suspects. What about a bailout? There is talk uh, among some analysts that they, the Greece does need a bailout. Uh, the Finnish finance minister, Jurgen Katainen, says no way. It would send a clear message to the other countries in trouble. Uh, even the so Greece should you is let not... them go down? Should you let them No, I, I'm not sure. Uh, so far, they have not agreed. They will be talking about that at the next European Finance Minister's meeting next month. Chris Burns, Bloomberg News, Brussels. The Swiss Central Bank expects the country's economy to shrink by 1% this year. Two leading Swiss banks have slashed 16,000 jobs after more than $60 billion in write-offs and losses. And with other Swiss firms cutting back, Davos may not be immune. Chris Burns, Bloomberg, Davos, Switzerland. In such an idyllic place as Cannes, it's easy to forget about the thousands of people who have died trying to cross this sea. This festival has films that aim to jar a desensitized public back to reality and their creators hope move people to action. Chris Burns, Euro News at the Cannes Film Festival. Hello, I'm Chris Burns, and welcome to The Network, hard talk with a matrix of newsmakers. The headlines. In the Balkans, a Macedonian government crisis risks turning into an ethnic conflict after Albanian extremists attacked a police station in a deadly firefight. Kosovo is seeing a mass exodus while the economy suffers from government corruption, and Serbia refuses to recognize its self-declared independence. In Bosnia, 20 years after Europe's worst conflict since World War II, the peace accord remains tenuous, with Serb, Croat and Muslim leaders refusing to cooperate. One of the winning entries of the Cannes Film Festival examined decades of Balkan conflicts through three love stories. Could the enduring tensions yet explode again? Wired into this edition of the network here at the European Parliament in Brussels. Uh, we're connecting uh, with Zagreb, actually. Dalibor Matanic, Croatian director of the High Sun, jury prize winner of the Certain Regard section of this year's Cannes Film Festival. Here at the Parliament is Tonino Pizzula, Croatian socialist MEP and chair of the Delegation for Relations with Bosnia and Herzegovina and Kosovo. And Rosa Balfour, senior fellow on the European program of the German Marshall Fund. Welcome to all of you. Let me start with a question to all of you, starting with Dalibor. How dangerous is the situation in the Balkans? Are we still looking now at a Balkan tinderbox? 